And welcome back. Governor Kathy Hochul wants to make some sweeping changes to the state's liquor laws, including making permanent alcohol to go, which as we've talked about, became very popular during the pandemic. To on your side's Kelly Dudzik joins us now with a look at the proposals from the governor and also Kelly, what industry experts are saying about this. Hi, Michael. Alcohol to go was a game changer for a lot of restaurants during the height of the pandemic, but they also deal with old inefficient laws that make business tough at times. Governor Hochul wants to make alcohol to go permanent. She also wants to streamline a lot of state laws, some of which have been on the books for 100 years. Waiting for a state liquor license to get approved can take months and months and months, and the process involves mailing in documents instead of emailing them. So the governor wants to change that too. She proposed spending $2 million to hire 39 new state liquor authority employees. 30 would work on liquor license applications, clearing that backlog. The president and CEO of the New York State Restaurant Association says this will help speed up the process and hopefully cut the approval process time in half. Listen to what she said to me today about how this impacts the business owners. There's so many steps that you have to take in order to operate and own and run a restaurant. And, and startup can be incredibly frustrating when you're dealing with paperwork and wait times. The last thing you want is to be paying rent on a location for a restaurant or a bar and not be able to fully operate because you can't get your liquor license. So this is an important step to address those issues and really help bring back the industry. And Governor Hochul told reporters today that the state will review all of the state liquor laws to see what can potentially change. This is not a done deal yet. It's in the governor's budget proposal, so we should know within weeks if the changes become official, Michael. Yeah, it's interesting that she didn't just stop with alcohol to go, which I know right. some people were worried it was going to be sort of just limited to that. This seems like a much bigger picture sort of approach. Um, I know that how you enforce age restrictions with alcohol to go also came up during all of this. Yeah, the governor was asked about that today, and she says before any changes are made and alcohol to go is made permanent, they'll be getting a lot of public comments about the proposal. She says they do want to make sure, obviously, that only people 21 and up can buy alcohol, and she doesn't think that you'll be required to buy food if you're getting alcohol to go. But again, everything is up for review, Michael. Yep, just one part of the budget process that I know can be pretty overwhelming. There's a lot going on, so we'll stay on top of it, Kelly. Thank you.